Alright, welcome back everybody. This is the follow-up to our uh, case logic, and now I'm going to show you a, a little bit of a case study in using case logic. Just to use the word case a couple more times. Case, case, case. <laughs> um, okay, now what I told you guys I wanted you to do was to make a simple program that's going to tell you if somebody got something between an A and an F. And now you can do that a variety of ways. Now, this isn't really the best example on uh, how to use a case. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. The biggest downside to it is going to be that you're probably going to have to use an IF. Uh, to do so. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to... I mean there there is a way that you can do this using uh, a case but it's going to be very very difficult. So well actually you know what? No. I'm going to do this using a case and it's, we're not going to be able to do A plus, A minus, or anything like that. But I, I will do it using just a case so I can show you guys how I'm doing it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it simple. A, B, C, D, F. Those are the only grades that we're going to have. Okay, so we're going to ask somebody to see out enter the student's grade um, 1 through 100. We'll kind of instruct them on what to enter. So we'll say 1 to 100. And then they're going to C in for grade. Um, I suppose that we can put in a little prohibitive while loop because I said that we should be doing that. Um, and I'm going to say the next five to ten lessons, I'm going to get a lot more into how to control what the user actually enters here. Because right now we're still trusting that they're at least entering a number. So we're going to say while grade is less than uh, zero, or well, less than one, or greater, or grade is greater than 100, um, we should allow for greater than 100 because some teachers do extra credit, but we're not going to in this case. We're going to say enter the student's grade. The number you entered was invalid. And then we're just going to see in for grade again. And until that number is in between 1 and 100, they're going to get prompted to enter it. Or until when they enter something that's so outrageously wrong that it doesn't fit into the container of int. Which is entirely possible. Okay, now, um, what we're actually going to do is we're going to do integer division. And we're going to take grade, and we're going to divide by 10. This is going to give us a number 1 through 10. Um, so say they had 90. 90 is now equal to 9. Um, I did this because I don't have the time to really uh, show you how we would do it. And I don't want to break it down into 90 different cases. And I don't want to use a complex if because I'm really just trying to show you uh, how to use cases. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a switch based on what's now in grade. Um, so we're going to just have that be divided by equal. So whatever was in grade has now been divided by 10. And we're going to do a switch. Or, I'm sorry, not a switch, because we already did that. And we're going to do case 1. Um, You know what? I think that we're going to do this. We're going to do uh, a simple if. We're going to do if grade is less than 5, uh, grade equals, we'll say 5. 
Um, so that way, you know, if, if they go below a 50, it doesn't matter, they failed anyways. Let's not kick a horse while it's, you know, already dead. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to start at case 5. You can do that. Um, there's no problem with doing that. If for some reason something gets through with a 1, then you're going to have problems, but it shouldn't. Uh, we'll say C out. You got an F, comma, needs improvement. And so, now we could output their grade here by multiplying back by 10, but there is a loss of precision. Um, assume that you had entered in something here like a 96. When you divide by 10, that's going to become a 9. And then that's it. It's a 9 from there on out. So um, I'm just going to hurry up and sort of finish this off. Uh, so we're going to go and come down to this next line. 7, 8, 9. And uh, if it's left as a 10, that means I got 100. So that's pretty damn good. Uh, so 10, 9, 8, 7. Six. And now all we're going to do is go up. Uh, D still needs improvement. A C. <laughs> we're going to give them kind of a demotivational your average. Uh, anything with an 8, that's going to be a B. So we're going to say, um, well done. Uh, this is going to be an A. And it's going to be very well done. Case 10 is going to be an A+, plus, and we're just going to say, holy crap. And then we're going to make a default case. Same idea, just another, oh, no, those are brackets. I didn't want brackets. Oh well. I want braces, not brackets. And C out, we'll just say... Something went wrong. And I suppose that we can put each one of these on a new line, because I always forget to do that until the end, right before I'm about to test a program. Um, okay, and I just want to make sure that each of these gets their own new line character. And then we'll compile this, and we'll just make sure it works. And uh, as long as it works, that'll be it. I'm not going to go into any further explanation. I think that most of this is pretty self-explanatory. This isn't the best way that you could do it, but it's certainly a way you could do it. So, okay, it looks like I've entered a 10, and it didn't quite work how I wanted it to. Let's try running it again. And, uh... It's just, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I was supposed to enter 100, there we go, because I forgot it's actually dividing by 10 for us, so we actually do enter in the grade. Um, so let's enter in 87, and that comes out to a B, so that's pretty much what we wanted it to do. Um, for a moment I thought I had an actual error in my code, it was actually just me remembering that I'd coded 5 through 10. Um, so that's really going to do it for now. Um, that's the basics of case logic and uh, how to use a case structure. In this case, it's not as nice as it could have been. Um, I did simplify it a lot just to get it done quickly. You guys, if you want to, you know, post down below maybe an IDE one or a paste bin link to uh, to your code, feel free. Um, share what you've done with the other students that are watching this. Uh, it should be very beneficial for you guys to see how other people code other than me. So with that said, I'm done with this one, and hopefully you guys got something out of the homework. If you have any questions, post them down below, subscribe up above, and see you next video.